Hi everyone, it's Vicky here. Before I start today, I want to wish you all a happy new year. I hope you had a lovely time with your friends and family. So this is the first video of this year and I decided to start a new feature. It's an art journal project that I call A Year in Flowers and the idea is to end up having a beautiful book full of flowers inside. Now, I do I have lots of flower stamps already and the new ones are going to be released throughout the year which I am of course going to use for my card making but also for pages to insert in this book. And I will start this year with this beautiful flower stamp set that has just been released by Alte New. This is called Hyacinth and um, you can see the leaflet inside with those beautiful flowers. It is a layering stamp set so you can see at the back the way that you can put everything together. And always keep in mind that although I am creating an original page, you can easily use the same idea and create a card. Now since I'm going for a flower page, of course the flowers are going to be the focal point. I decided to go with uh, three of them and I'm stamping two of them here. So I'm starting with the stems. I am using bamboo and then I will move on to olive inks. Those are oval inks by Altanew. There are two layers for the stems and there are three layers for the actual flowers. It's not really difficult to align one on top of the other and it is quite forgiving. There is also a fourth layer for the flowers that just adds little dots on the inside of the flowers to create the centers. Now here to stamp this flower I used three inks from the Enchanted Garden oval set. And you can see how much depth the darker color adds. It's so beautiful. I am going to stamp the last layer by using uh, Warm Sunshine. I stamped the other flowers as well and then used the matching dies to cut out everything. And with the magic of video editing, here they are all together. I also used inks from the ink sets which are called Sage of Purple and Cherry Blossom. And you will find everything linked down below. Now, I will work on a 6x6 uh, art journal today, which is disc bound. I create this on my own, but there are also available in the market. You will find links below as well. This is heavy watercolor paper and first I'm starting by spraying some water all over this. Now I'm going to use two sprays. These are metallic sprays which are going to give a beautiful shine on my page. I'm going to spray enough on top and you can see that it uh, kind of uh, puddles on me just because I added too much water in the beginning. But this is good because it's going to help those colors to mix a little bit and create a beautiful background. Now once this settles I am going to add a second layer the colors that I'm using are Soft Lilac and Ocean Waves by Alte New. And although it looks quite vibrant at the moment, you will see that as it dries, it gets lighter and lighter. So don't be afraid to add enough color in the beginning. Of course, you can leave this page to dry and come back later. I am very impatient when I craft, so I always use my heat gun. Just to make sure that everything is nice and dry there, so I can go on to the next step. I'm going to do some stamping on my background, for that I'm using a text stamp that I had for ages. I am uh, stamping with archival ink just to make sure that this is not going to move on me, no matter what technique I decide to do later on. And I'm not going for the perfect impression here, I just want to have some visual texture at the background. Also remember that this is uh, watercolor paper and it is very textured, so I will not get a good impression no matter what I do. Now I'm going to do some stenciling. I will place this beautiful stencil on top and with a baby wipe I will go over it. The spray ink that I have underneath reacts like watercolor so I can easily lift some of uh, the ink from underneath to create this ghost technique. The stencil that I'm using is uh, called Elegant Swirls by the way and I think it's just gorgeous. So I'm going to add this um, design in different areas of my background. I'm not going to go all over it. I just want to have um, a touch of this stencil here and there. Now it's time to do some splashes. For that I will use the same spray inks that I used for the background. I'm not introducing any new colors here. Just because I don't want to make my background look too busy. I like it as subtle as it is at the moment. 
I'm also going to add some uh, white splashes, for that I'm using white gesso that I have diluted with water. And since I have my gesso out, I just grabbed this uh, scrap piece of uh, corrugated cardstock and I'm going to go over it with gesso. This is a brush that is uh, completely dry, so I'm doing some dry brushing technique, adding uh, a little bit of gesso only at the peaks of those mountains. And here is a close-up look on how my background is looking and hopefully you can see all the shine that I have at the background due to the inks that I used. I am also going to stick down the piece of paper that I have prepared earlier with gesso on top. And now finally it's time to stick down my flowers. I'm going to stick them down with uh, white glue and I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe here. But for the rest of the flowers I have some foam squares at the top just to add a little bit of dimension, but the bottom I'm going to stick it down with glue. So I'm just going to decide the placement there. I'm going to chop off a little bit from the bottom. And the truth is that I have so many flower stamps and I keep getting new ones all the time. I absolutely love flowers. And uh, to tell you the truth, they are great for card making because they can fit pretty much any occasion. And since I had so many flowers and I keep getting new ones, I decided why not to create an art journal full of the flowers that I already have and the new ones that are coming to my home. And I think this is going to be a really fun project throughout the year where I will keep on adding new pages on my journal and I'm sure I will end up with a beautiful book at the end which I'm going to flip through for you at the end of 2019. Now I always love to add motivational quotes on my original pages and in this stamp set with the flowers there is one that says keep smiling and I thought it, w it was the best to start this year. So instead of stamping it directly just because it was quite small I decided to stamp only the word keep and I stamped the word smiling letter by letter with an alphabet stamp set. Of course you can write it down if you love your own handwriting. So I'm just sticking down the word keep and my quote is ready. Now I'm going to add some uh, fun details. I'm using here my clear Nouveau drops and I'm going to add it on each and every center of those flowers. And finally I went online and print out on my printer in a just regular uh, printer paper the definition of the hyacinth which means that uh, I can cut it out, I can distress it just a little bit, tear it all around and just stick it down. In this book I will be using the definition of each flower that I am using on every page and who knows if I get lucky by the end of the year I will have at least one flower for each letter of the alphabet. So since I am working on a disc bound journal I can always change the position and just place them in alphabetical order. So these are some of the ideas and what I'm planning to do on this uh, uh, flower art journal. But uh, things might change as uh, I go along, so we'll see what will happen by the end of 2019. I hope uh, this video has inspired you to create your very own art journal about flowers. Use your flowers that you already have in stamps. Take photos of flowers and use those on top of your pages. You can also draw your own flowers, use magazine cutouts or just print out your flowers from your computer. There are really so many different ways to play along. Now I'm going to use these uh, little discs that are in this rose gold color which I absolutely adore. I am going to place, uh, put them in place and this is my first page for 2019 for the A Year in Flowers art journal book. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching today and have a lovely and creative new year.